Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that's amazing. It is only 10 a.m. here in Vegas and it is already, let me show you. That's right, it's already 100 degrees. Um, <laughs> I am off and running. My car is completely packed with a donation for my very favorite little thrift store, Dog Junkies. Uh, so I just, I just, I have too much stuff. I, you know, stuff pours in. I get stuff from house cleanouts and auctions where, you know, you buy a bunch of stuff and it's just not all great for resale. And so a place like Dog Junkies can take that, turn it into money, help their cause. It's, a, it's just a beautiful thing. So that's where I'm off to right now. Of course, I'm gonna take a little peek around. Um, and in fact, I was there yesterday and didn't film, so I'm gonna have to do a little haul and show you the amazing things that I found yesterday. I'll attach that on to the end of this video. So um, stay to the end because there's always good stuff all the way to the end. And uh, yeah, I will do just a little bit of filming because uh, I do have to get back home from my live sale, which is happening today as I film this, which is Friday, every Friday at 1 p.m. I go live and I sell stuff that you see me buy all during the week. All you have to do is show up. We do bidding, like an auction. One dollar is a starting bid. Uh, so, I'm rambling. I'm gonna start driving. I think the heat's already getting to me. Okay, let's go. So, I dropped off my donation. And then, <laughs> like, look at this. I don't know if that's coming through. He's a lenticular tiger. Ooh, he's like 3D. Got some jungle animals, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out what wall that Rachel could put this on. I don't think we have one. It's a little too big, but, oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that's amazing. And I'm in love with this table. You said this table was acacia? Acacia wood. Acacia wood table. Look at this thing. Oh, it's beautiful, look at. I'm sure this is a couple thousand dollar table. And uh, we're gonna peek through real quick. They're not actually even open yet. They let me sneak in here and kind of poke around a little bit. We've got all of this. I got a lot of stuff off of these shelves um, that you'll see at the end. I'll show you my little haul video of the goodies. <gasps> oh, hello. Hello, my pretties. Um, okay, yes, we're definitely going to get these cute. I think they hang on the side of pots, but um, you know those are coming home with me. And then I'll, I'm gonna get the other little critters too, because I'm not totally all about tortoises. I'll take other critters too. So we're gonna get those. Oh, he's pretty spectacular. Look at that. He's a big pottery frog with a little frog on his back. He's so big, I can't even get them all in the frame. That is great. Oh, he's got another little frog and there's a lizard. Oh, I love it. They get the best stuff in here. Check it out. Ooh, oh, I almost missed that. I think he's got a little chippy on it, but you know what? We're going to get him too. Okay, you come up here with your friends. I'm going to come back for you. I'm coming back for you. <clears throat> I'm going to just do a real quick walk around. So if, in case you see something, you're like, Danny, grab that. I'm always in here. So I don't always film every time because you guys would get bored with that, but I'm in here a lot. So oh, please feel free to let me know if there is something. That's a metronome. That's actually a really nice metronome. Um, I'm, I'm happy to uh, come in and pick it up. And a lot of you pointed out that this is a homemade job because this is a briar. And uh, somebody, and this is probably one of those Russ Berry guys. So let me just made this really cool little thingamajig. So, 
They got a whole crew here setting things up today. Got some wolf stuff. Got some car decals. And there we go. We got the music on, so I'm trying not to get too close to the radio right now. Okay. Like I said, I was here yesterday. So I, I pretty much picked out the good stuff, which I'm going to show you at the end of this video. And uh, we can go over here and look at the, oh, it's a neat print. Um, look on these shelves a little bit. What are these? Oh, look, it's more dog butt hooks. <laughs> oh, there's more dog bites. Oh, there's another one of these spectacular pieces. I would be afraid of that, of putting that like on a wall and then having it fall down. That's just my anxiety. I know this is like a quick run through, you guys. This is not a thorough thrifting job because I do have to get home and get set up for my live sale that's happening. So, oh, look at that. Ooh, that's very um, uh, Mediterranean. I think that's the word I'm looking for. I can't tell vintage. I don't think it's vintage though. It has a really nice look to it though, doesn't it? You guys tell me always look at the look at the brass. So we're gonna look at the brass. These are pretty nice actually. Um, I don't know enough about this stuff to know. I'd have to you know research some value but these look pretty nice. I might come back for those. Okay guys I'm gonna Go get those few things that I just found and stay tuned for the haul video at the end of this. Okay, it's haul time. That's my office back there, my messy office. I hope you can't see it. Anyway, um, I wanted to highlight a couple of the pieces. Um, actually, I'm going to show you all of what I bought, but I'm going to highlight a couple of the pieces right off the bat. This first thing I got is absolutely amazing this is a quarry critters humongous <laughs> it's let me sit back here it's humongous this is big billy um i cannot even find any comps on big billy just yet uh i paid 40 dollars for big billy and i know big billy is worth a couple hundred bucks at least but here's one of the greatest parts look at this look at this look at the little munchkin guy that goes in here and this can hold plants or whatever. Now I will probably take this down to the booth first uh, just to try because it is so huge and shipping's gonna be rough. But what an amazing find. Uh, just because I have never seen one that size. So that's the first thing I found. I'm not sure how my light is doing out here, uh, but I got these four animal heads an elephant a lion a giraffe and a rhinoceros let me just show these to you they are mm -hmm. resin um but they are just so fantastic they are not they don't have like a maker's name or anything on the back they are wall hangings just absolutely spectacular especially like come on you guys know i got a thing for giraffes i was one of those people who watched april the giraffe for for weeks for weeks waiting for her to have her baby i can't even tell you how many hours of sleep i lost uh the rhinoceros i picked up all four of these i made them a deal a hundred dollars for all four also got this really cool it's it's orangutan gorilla rhinoceros elephant panda bear I think that's supposed to be a lion and a tiger. This is like a whole wall plaque thing. What did I pay for this? I paid 10 bucks, 10 bucks for that one. And I should be able to get, well, it is daylight and I can actually now show you the stuff that I got just a little bit better. Um, so please ignore 
how bad that lighting was. I'm going to go over that stuff. I'm going to leave that video in, but um, I'm just going to go over it very, very briefly and show you better, better daylight images of it. All right, so there still is my wonderful quarry critters guy where this little guy comes out. I've seen these with welcome signs there. A little different. Um, and of course the animals, the, the little animals thing there. I have seen these all over the place um, price-wise, but I can tell you, anybody who loves animals like this will pay $70, $80 a piece for these, if not more. I bet I can get $100 for the elephant and the giraffe heads, but probably maybe only mm, 40 or 50 for the lion, rhino, maybe 60, 70. You know, it just all depends if you find that right animal lover. Anybody remember when I found this at the swap meet and the guy wanted like a big price for it and then he was the one asking me what it sold for online. Well, I did pick this up for $16 and uh, I'm still kind of wrestling Rachel over it. She doesn't carry a purse. I mean, I would gladly give it to her if she carried a purse. She doesn't carry a purse, but it sells for $25 to $30. I got this um, dogs playing poker kind of new version here. Pull it out. It folds, which is interesting, uh, but it's resin. You know, it's not high, high quality, but it's still, it's an emotional piece. Somebody will pay 30 to $40 for that. And then we've got the, I think this is supposed to be a bird house and feeder. Correct me if I'm wrong. It hangs up and it's got like the... The ears are like bowls that could hold either water or bird seed. And then it's got the mouth that, I think that's what that's for. I don't know if a bird would use that. Um, I can get 20 to 25 for that. What did I pay? I paid 10. It is designed exclusively collections, etc., etc. 2006. So it's not quite vintage. It's getting there. Then we have the dog butt tail hook plaque thing. That is a good 25, 30 bucks. Down here, I got some dog figurines. This is, it's a Cocker Spaniel wearing a beret. And I paid $2. I'm just gonna peel this and see if there's another sticker underneath. There is not, there is not, so. Um, he's like one of those like stone critter feeling, but he's not. This one just has a made in China. He's a more of a resin. Things like this sell in the 10 to $12 range. We got this cute little guy. Again, he does feel like a, it feels like a stone critter kind of, kind of feel. No, no, nothing on the bottom. Um, and again, even though, I mean, size difference, but when you're talking about an emotion factor, you know, somebody will pay eight to 10 for this guy. Somebody that has a basset hound, loves basset hounds, eight to 10 on him. Then we got this guy, it's very interesting. He is, he is metal. I'm gonna peel, I, I know there's nothing because it's a, like a padded thing here. Paid $6 for him. He's a very heavy piece, um, but he's small enough to go in like a flat rate. So the shipping's not bad. And I'm guessing I can get about 20 for him. I'm still gonna figure out what he's made of. I don't, he might be bronze, actually, look at that. He might be bronze, so we got him. Uh, you know who picked this out. And of course, this will not, this will not be sold. This is a, oops, this is a standby sticker peeling. At least their stickers are easy to peel off. Um, Portrait of Innocence by Martha Carey, 1993. So it is vintage. Uh, it does have a little chip on the ear, which doesn't matter to Rachel. She will actually probably repair that. No problem. And she did buy this with her own money, which she is allowed to do now. Now that she's making some money. She also picked out this. This is not something we're going to sell. This is going to go in our fairy garden. She thought this would be a good fairy garden addition. I picked out this. Obviously, 
it's old. This is depression glass. Um, but what intrigued me is that it has part of an original label on the bottom. Let me just, yes, I paid $8 for it. Oh, and I hate that. I hate when this peels up the original stuff, but it happens. Okay, but we got enough of it still. Oh, look at that. I lost some of it. Um, but what we have here is this sticker that I'm still trying to make out what it says. And sometimes when I edit it, it comes through a little clearer than what I can see right now with my, my own eyes. But if anybody recognizes that, let me know. I think I see something Miller, Miller Company or something. Anyway, old piece, I believe it is a powder jar. Paid $8, I believe I can get 20 to 25 for this. I have not been able to find one quite like it. Uh, but it's very appealing with its age and its patina, and even though those little scratches and things are there. You know what? People still like that because it looks old. Just, just kind of a cool piece. I did pick up the Peruvian wall hanging. It is obviously wool. Now, I don't know if this is the front or if this is the front. Let me turn it over. Stand by. No, I think that other side was the front. This is like more unfinished with the binding on it. So even though this is the more colorful side, this, this is the front. Um, so I did pick this up for, how much was it? Where's the tag? There it is, 10 bucks. Pick this up for 10 bucks. It's worth about 30 to 40. So thank you for the heads up on this. I did take your advice and picked it up this time up this pair of tea towels. They were just very appealing to me. Knobby apple cake from the kitchen of Emily. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to have to find Emily to appeal to, to these, but look at, look how cute these are. And this is from the kitchen of Joy. So they're like little, little, um, handwritten recipes, but made into these linen. And it's THT Designs 2006. Um, they're really nice. They're, I mean, they're, these are, these are the ones you want to use. They're that absorbent cotton linen, regular tea towel kind of stuff. So I only paid what? $4 for the pair. Yeah. $4 for the pair. Can't go wrong. They're super cute. But I also picked up this amazing elephant fountain, which is actually staying up here and I'm placing it so that I can see it from my office window as well. I got another quarry critters, not quite as big as old uh, Billy over here, but very good size nonetheless. And he was $16. This is Blair and Bombay. Blair and Bombay. This is a pretty easy $40 to $50. I found this little basket containing two Isabel Bloom birds. Isabel Bloom is a name you want to be looking out for. Um, Isabel Bloom stuff sells really well. Now the little eggs and things put in here, that was just, they took that. I'll just sell these. I won't, I'm, but then I'm thinking I'm going to keep this basket and put some of my little fake eggs in it and maybe one of my bird figurines. And, uh, you know, I don't know, just sell that. Um, these two little birds, now this one's got a little bit of chipping. Actually, that one does too. I'll probably put them together and I'll get 30 to $40 for those little birds. If they were perfect, they'd go for a little bit more than that. But because of the chipping, I'll get 30 to 40. Now, what do you say about him? Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Now these are made by, is it marked on here? Oh, I looked it up and then I didn't bring my notes out here with me. I'll have to put it in the text right here as I'm talking. Who makes these? Um, they come in all different breeds. They're all equally adorable. The little puppies in a cup. I want to say it's like Van Dart or something. This is a dachshund. Rachel had to argue with me and say that it was like our Xena dog, but it's not a Rottweiler. It's a dachshund. These? Easy. 20 to $25. Easy, 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 20 to 
Again, emotion sells, you guys. Emotion sells. This is a heavy piece. Paid, oh, darn it. Look, we lost his tag. I may have to try to see if I can peel that off and see what that says. I hate when that happens. Um, thrift stores do that all the time. So that had a tag. This is like cast metal. Uh, I don't know that I would particularly call it cast iron, but man, it's the weight of cast iron. You saw I paid $8 again. Um, this is a quality piece that should bring an easy $25 to $30. There we go. This purse. Oh my goodness. Now, I'm not a big purse buyer, but let me just bring it over here where we can admire the boho-ness that this is. Uh, obviously, the colors got me, and then once I got my hands on it, I could feel the quality in this. Now, it does, it does have a little wear on the handles. Um, but it's that soft, buttery, buttery leather. And there's the bottom. The bottom looks really good. I love this purse. These are all little leather pieces. Okay, so I look inside and we've got a name. We've got a Mara leather. A Mara leather. And what I discovered was a Mara leather is a very, very good brand to be on the lookout for. Um, I saw a lot of this colorful kind of pattern. I paid 10 bucks, 10 bucks for this, and I should get 40 to 50 for this purse because it's spectacular. And then there was this. This is a fan. Now, unfortunately, what I discovered when we went to test the fan, oops, your head is stuck on the cord. When we went to test the fan, it did not, it wants to work. It like, it wants to work really bad. It starts kind of to turn, but it's not working. So they gave this to me. They said, go ahead and have it, fix it. So I'm hoping it just needs some cleaning because the motor's working. It's just not wanting to spin real good. So we're hoping that we can get that fixed up. Um, this, it's a hula skirt made in Hawaii. Look at that. Um, these actually sell really well. I paid $1 for this, but I bought it with the intention of using it to create some more shade in one of my patio areas. Um, my tortoises, believe it or not, need more shade. Tortoises don't do well in full sun. They need a lot of shade. So we're probably going to just use that in our in our little decor around here. It's another little piece I just couldn't leave behind. These are all little porcelain flowers. I paid four dollars. Well, it's got a blank. Oh, oh, there's something else under there. Okay, stand by. So here's a very good example of buying on quality. So I bought this strictly on quality. Just thinking there's something really well made about this piece. Look what I just discovered. This, let me try to hold still. This is Capitamonte. Hold on, I'm gonna try to get this to focus. All right, there we go. Capitamonte made in Italy, Shazam. I'm not sure what that piece is worth. I'm gonna have to go look it up and I will put it right up here on the screen. I also bought some jewelry. Let me just kind of go through what I bought. Um, this piece here is made of shell and it's really done quite nicely. I don't remember what I paid for this one. It was only a couple bucks. Their jewelry is priced very, very well. Um, but that's all shell made to look like little bells. I got this really nice little cross pendant. It's enameled with rhinestones. That was just a couple bucks. All right, I thought these were actual charm charms, not wine charms, but that's okay because I only paid a couple bucks. And then I got two pieces of uh, fused glass with dichroic glass also. This one's signed KW. It's this kind of bougie lady. And then this one is kind of more of an abstract, but the colors are just really spectacular. An owl. 
it has like that kind of cut out filigree thing on the back like the Betsy Johnsons do, but it doesn't have the hearts, so I don't believe this is a Betsy Johnson. It's just a cute little owl. This is a Monet, or a Monet, as I like to call them. Monet's a really, really good costume jewelry brand to resell. So we have that. This is an older pin. Now it is missing one little stone. I just actually might be missing two. Um, it is just a super old little fun piece. I paid four for that one. But what I do is when I sell this stuff in my live sale, I don't just sell it a piece at a time. I'll lump it with like items, you know, brooches with brooches. And like I try to keep it themed like, you know, roses with roses kind of thing. So I got this rose here. I got this really sweet little seed bead bracelet. That's, I mean, that's intricate work in there. That's, I really like this piece. So I got that. I got a little whale tail pendant. How cute is this? He's looking in a toilet. Correct me if I'm wrong. That is a toilet, right? Or is it just a mirror? I really think it's supposed to be a toilet. Um, it is signed. Don't know if we can make out that signature right now. I got to go get my little loop-de-loop. -loop. But it is a signed piece. And I'm pretty sure that kitty is looking in the toilet. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. All right. And then I got this necklace. It's, I, you know, it's not old. Um, but it is a designer piece. It is dun, 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 Cookie Lee. Cookie Lee, as some of you may know, is a very, they were like home party kind of direct sales. Very expensive. It's got an owl and the roses and the butterfly and the, and the little acorn. And like, this is a really cool piece. I love this piece. And it was $4. So, and actually all of this will be in this coming Friday's live sale. I do jewelry this week. I switch off every other week I do jewelry and I go between jewelry and hard goods. So if you see something you like, this is just, I mean, this is only a few of the pieces that will be in that sale. Well, since it's about 108 degrees here in Las Vegas today, it's about time to hit the pool. So I hope I see you at the live sale next Friday, as well as my live that I do on Mondays at 1 p.m. Or if you just see something that you have to have in your life, you can always email me the niche lady at gmail.com it's in the descriptions so with that everyone have a spectacular week and go be profitable and make it fun and we'll see you on the next one